In this video, I'm going to review two pieces out of Unit 10. This is Dance on page 88, and then Du, Du liegst mir in Herzen on 89. Um, let's start with Dance on page 88. It has a very repetitive bass part. You simply stay on G and D for the entire piece for your left hand. Um, so you might just want to spend some time working on the right hand, getting to know those notes. I'm going to play it straight through with all of the repeats, and you'll notice um, because of the F dash P and measures one and and nine, um, the first time you play those lines, it's forte. The second time you play it, it should be piano much quieter. So here's dance. So a couple things as you're practicing this piece. Obviously lines one and three are identical. Um, line two, you have a dotted rhythm, you have a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note um, in measures five and in measure seven. They're actually the same notes, just mezzo forte in measure five, piano in measure seven. That rhythm, I'll count it out loud in measure five. One and two and three and four. Again, one and two and three and four. So make sure you're comfortable with that. Um, before you put that together. Okay, and at the end again, um, in measure 11, it says writ second time, so slow down for the very, very, very uh, ending of this piece. Do do leakst on the next page. Um, this uses, this introduces two chords for your bass clef. You have a G chord on GBD, and then you have the D7 chord, F sharp, C, and D. Notice that the F sharp, it's in the key signature. Um, so you won't see the sharp sign in front of the actual note anymore, but you have to remember that any Fs in this piece are automatically a sharp. And this is how the piece uh, goes overall. hand only has two chords to play. You either play this waltz pattern or you play a blocked chord for both the G chord and for the D7 chord. There aren't a lot of tricks to your right hand. It's mostly a pentascale between those notes. The only slight shift in measure 13, notice you move your thumb to an A to reach that group of notes and then they ask you to use finger 2 in the F sharp and then thumb on the G. And there are a couple ways you could finger this. You want to make sure the notes are connected with a slur. You want to make sure um, that you're hitting the right notes, but what if I wanted to finger it like this? Sure, I could use my thumb on that F sharp um, and then the second finger on the G. If you're more comfortable with that, use that. You don't have to necessarily use that cross. Either way works fine and just make sure that you still connect the notes um, and can get to the notes accurately in time. Here's the piece again. Actually, I'll play through dance one more time and then do do least. And this is Juju Leakst on page 89. 